The Alabama Veterans Museum and Archives in Limestone County has a new home. And today, on Memorial Day, the museum opened with a soft launch. Our Kenesha Dees spoke with leaders on how this new chapter for the county's biggest tourist attraction is even more meaningful today and will be for generations to come. When you have a patriotic state, a patriotic community, uh, funding becomes much easier. So we're very excited about the new move. What was planned to open about 10 months ago was pushed back due to the pandemic, but the wait is over. And leaders say the soft launch of Alabama Veterans Museum on Memorial Day is especially meaningful. We had about 400 people here today at the Memorial Day program, which is outstanding. It shows you how much our community supports not only the veterans, but supports this museum and supports those that paid the ultimate sacrifice. Museum officials say their exhibits attract about 12,000 people a year. And Limestone being the fastest growing county in Alabama and the museum's bigger space, leaders believe they'll attract more visitors. We've expanded it over here and without the help of the county commission and the city and the you know, state legislative power, we would never have made this possible. It's been a lot of blood, blood, sweat and tears went into this program. It's what a great event when you see young people along with a 95-year-old that was a tail gunner in the back of a B-52. From the American Revolution to the Tuskegee Airmen in Pearl Harbor, just about any fact known to Alabama about our service men and women is there. Leaders hope some of their features will also attract younger visitors. Word gets out about our virtual reality room. That's a calling card for our young people, so we're very excited. Most of the artifacts here in this Veterans Museum is based on the history of Limestone County. However, museum officials say they can accept donations. Now, of course, this was just the soft launch, but the grand opening will be July 3rd at 10 a.m. Putting the Valley first, Kenesha Dees, WZDX News. Millions of, of servicemen and women have died for our nation, uh, and this last year has seen a lot of grief as well within our nation. So taking a time like today to remember our fallen uh, probably causes a lot of reflection for a lot of folks, but, uh, uh, but today is special for those servicemen and women that really have given, given their all for our freedoms. And here's a look at how Limestone County observed Memorial Day. Several veteran organizations laid out wreaths right next door to the museum. And you can hear the ringing of the bells just a moment ago as the names of the deceased veterans were read aloud and displayed on the projectors. Limestone County Veterans Honor Guard also paid tribute with a 21-gun rifle salute and taps were played.